Hello, everyone. Howdy. How are y'all doing today? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Hope you're having a great one. Uh, let me make sure my computer is mute. Oh, I can't. There we go. The computer has not been acting right today. Um, <laughs> it's been a day. Hello, Marianne. How are you? Thank you for joining us. If you're here, please say hi in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. We are streaming on multiple places on Facebook, on YouTube, and over on Instagram today. Um, and if you are in a particular place, you will only see comments from that place. So we're going to hang out a little bit today, do a Let's Chat session, um, which generally, if you've never seen a Let's Chat session from us, that just means we're here to hang out and chat. We're going to review our week a little bit, um, tell you some of the things you may have missed, but there's not really showing you of anything new per se. Um, you never know what's going to pop up, um, but generally Let's Chat is an easy day just to hang out as the AG Beat fam here and get to know one another a little better. So if you've never joined in on one of these lives and you're watching out there and you're like, I've never commented before, please say hi. Um, today's the day to do it. And then maybe we'll get into a little make along. I have a few things picked out here that I've scavenged from around um, the house and maybe we'll try and put something together together and if you have a project you're working on maybe you can grab yours too and we'll all just hang out and work together we um, thought about doing a make along but then we thought it was too last minute to ask people yeah so we put make along in the subject though and said make along and let's chat and we'll see what happens so we'll see what happens um but so not like a zoom though it's not like a Zoom make-along, no, where everyone's hanging out on Zoom. Unless um, you want to. It's, this is just a hangout with me. Um, Andrew's in the background doing some stuff. Um, I'm trying to get this tame. Organized a little bit. This room is crazy. You tidied up, but you tidy up in a way where you put everything in a box. I and do. And nobody knows what's inside. I'm like, that's the stuff that was in the room. Yeah, I mean, you can't find it. <laughs> I'm like, are you looking for the stuff that was in the office? It's in that box. That's what? my kind of tidying. Uh -huh. Do you know what room it came from? It's in that box. And then you're that cleans my room out, and I get a I get a fresh start in here. Not really. <laughs> it's fake. It's fake, but it feels so good. It feels so good. <laughs> it feels so good, something. and when you need something, you say it's in the box from that room. And then he says, Andrew, <laughs> go find that thing. Go find that thing. He said, where's that, that beating wire? It was in the box. From the room. I had to go dig for it. <laughs> hunt, but I found it. See, he was able to find it. Uh -huh. It all works out in the end. Um, <laughs> Sandra says, yo, yo, it's Friday. Woot, woot. Yes. Did you hear back about your, your It is Friday. House? How's the loan going for the house? Not to bring up an anxiety-ridden thing, if that is, but... Hopefully it's an exciting time. I know. Sometimes for me, that was anxiety-ridden. Like, can we not talk about for a day? No. But <laughs> Andrew's like, no, we must talk we about it talk all about the time. No, nah. yeah, nah, all the time. Wait, I'm, I have allergies today. My eyes are going crazy. What are you throwing at me? Oh, more beading wire. I got two different colors now. I've got pastel pink and pastel blue to work with today. Um, the pink will probably work pretty well. Um, you never know what we're going to find. You never know what's going to come out of the, the workings here. Um, let's see here. We have uh, Karen is here. Hello, Karen. Jen is over on the Giggly Gypsy on Instagram. Hello, Jen. Hope your trip is going well. I saw you're going to Vermont now, not Texas. You're going the other way, I think. Oh, I, I scheduled a haircut today. Um, I didn't get my haircut today, but I scheduled it for Tuesday. So Tuesday, come Tuesday's live, I'm going to be a new person. Um, maybe it's going to feel good, hopefully. What do you think these are? What do I think what are? And... <clears throat> I was, these are from Tucson, and one of the vendors gave these to me as a present. And we can have a game. What do y'all think these are? And then you'll win them as a prize. <laughs> they look like 
They're too it. small to be business card holders. Is it like a... Oh. What is it? It looks like a, on a necklace or something, right? I think... Aren't those... Aren't those polishing pads in there that you were looking for? Are those polishing pads? I don't know. They there's some they look Let's open it and find More out. Unboxing. Are they no is it oil degreaser? Paste degreaser? I don't know what these are. Let me see. Oh, these are to polish your glasses. I think. I don't know. They have a little. They have a little. They smell <laughs> good. I can't even get this one open. This there it goes. Oh, is it a food? No, that's not a food. Like it. that's a soapy smell. Oh, is this a soap? It's 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 dry hand wipes or hand cleaner or do you put it in the water and it turns into i'm, I'm gonna go do it <laughs> yeah. it smells like soap dry soap <laughs> i guess soap is kind of dry they're like bendy soap they look like they look like those, um, do they still make those, the, the Listerine strips? But they smell like soap. So I'm thinking there's something to wash your hands or clean. I don't know, that's pretty weird. Okay, Karen's here, Amy is here. Today was wild, says Amy. Were you caught in the, did you have the earthquake time? I hear there was an earthquake. I hope everyone's safe. Suzanne just says, hello everyone, hope you all are safe. Yeah, that was on the other side, I think, in New Jersey and New York, they felt the earthquake. It's soap. I was going to say, they look like Listerine strips, but smell like soap. There's two in one. <laughs> you know those Listerine strips that just dissolve? Yeah, they go into your tongue. Basically like that, except I guess if you go somewhere and they don't have soap, and then you don't have to have like a wet bar of soap wet in your hand. Wet bar hands. of soap in your hand. In your purse. Just, that's pretty handy, actually. Does anybody want that? Anybody want these? Anybody interested in those? Um, First person, you have to have ordered something, so I'm not paying shipping for that. Right. Um, let's see. Uh, Neen Sculpture joined us. Hello, hello. Um, Jen said Connecticut felt it, the earthquake. I was wondering if Amy felt it over there in Philadelphia. Somebody said they felt it in Philadelphia. Yeah. Norma's here. Hello, Norma. Um, Marion says, dumping in a box is a perfectly acceptable way to tidy quickly. No, it's not. I, I think so, too. No. I'm going to disagree. <laughs> it may look like a crazy right now, but I know where every single thing is. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and every single thing would still be in that box. No, William. <laughs> that's not the way. Because what if that box gets moved? Then you're in Then you write with a Sharpie. Office. Doesn't work. <laughs> Sandra says, so many questions and so much paperwork, but so far, so good. Good. Sue's home is guessing pillboxes. Amy, guess soap sheets. Karen, guess soap sheets. Do you want, do you want Sandy that? said soap leaves. How do you all know this? Is this like a thing? I guess it's a thing that we, I just, that was probably before we looked at them, they were guessing. Karen said, just add water so you always have soap. I was going to taste this. <laughs> Should have let him. <laughs> Here, Andrew. You taste it. Your mouth out. <laughs> right. One time I got in trouble for that and I got my mouth washed out. I and never I didn't even say that bad of a word. I never had that happen to me. That's because you have different kind of parents. <laughs> yes, I did. Um, the, oh, the loving <laughs> Sanders said, I did see the cardiologist yesterday, and he does not think my heart is to blame for the dizziness. He's going to do a stress test, though, to be sure. The doctors wanted to rule it out. So it was they think it was mostly your ears, right? I used to have, when I was in high school, I don't know if it was like growth spurts or hormones or what it was, but I got severe vertigo, the whole world, like you could watch it just, it would start and it would just spin and I couldn't stop it. There was nothing I could do. 
Um, sitting kind of upright in bed helped, but if I laid down at all, the world would just start spinning. And sometimes, most of the time when I tried to stand upright or walk, the world started spinning. It was like days long that it lasted. And I finally went back to school um, and it, um, it happened while I was in school then, after it hadn't happened for a while, and then it just went away on its own. So it was a wild thing. Amy says, yes, felt and heard the earthquake and the aftershock, uh, which I only heard. Um, Susie says, just wonderful snow and wind here. I know. Did we get Susie? Yep. It Is was it snowing. It, it, it was snowing when I went out for groceries today. Can't deal with it, y'all. But it stopped now. Like right now, there's nothing. Thank goodness. But it's supposed to get warm, right? It's supposed to get warm soon. Um, we'll just leave it. Let's just have one <laughs> seven. Grapevine Designs joined us. My mom joined us over on Instagram. Thank you all for joining us. Um, Suzanne says, "I'll take one of those." So you can have one, Suzanne. You write it down before. Write it down. Give me a bag. Write it down. Um, Marion says, I did not enjoy my stress test. I hear stress tests are not fun. I hear they're not fun. Um, first, I'm going to write gift so Barb knows. Okay. Anybody Do you want else? green or yellow, Suzanne? Does it matter? I think it's the same um, flavor. <laughs> I'm giving you the green. If you want to change, let me know. Who wants yellow? The vestibular dysfunction is eyes, ears, like your eyes can't focus. I don't know what that is. Amy says, Mercury retrograde came to play this time. You're not even telling me. <laughs> No joke. Suzanne says, doesn't matter. I've been waiting for that. Did it come up? Finally? It finally came up. And okay, then it, wait, funny. it may have just crashed. And then it crashed. Adobe. And do something real quick. Oh, there it is. It's oh. up. But my, the, the menu bar across the top isn't right. So it gave, goofed something up on the computer. So who knows how long everything's going to last. Great. Yeah. The time's not up. The, that um, happened the other day. Yep, it needs, I need to re I restarted the Finder, but that didn't work. So I need to restart the whole computer. I just restarted it. it needs it again. So uh, not right. So I dropped a brooch on the concrete. So that was really kind of set my teeth on edge because <laughs> now I have to fix it. Yes. So that it's happened like to him today. Another project to do that didn't need to be done <laughs> and then the the kittens dumped over his paintbrush water and made a huge, made a huge mess. mess he hid it away and they I, still i do this thing where i barricade the paint water around i like make a fortress around it so that they can't do that mm -hmm. and somehow they probably got one of the big cats to barrel like chase them because sometimes they do this thing where then they're like, look at me, look at me, Gilbert, Gilbert, Gilbert. And then they make him furious and then he could knock it down because he's big. Yeah. Who knows who did it? But there was paint water all over. And luckily I changed it relatively recently because <laughs> if it was the old paint water, oh. it was basically paint. Yeah. Oh, Marion says, I'm not coordinated to do it on the treadmill, so I had the drug option that hurt at first. Yeah, I've heard the drug option for the stress test is not nice. That sounds stressful. Yes, that's a stress test for sure. Um, uh, Sandra says, I read that, Andrew. That's terrible. And then there's something else, too, that happened. I can't remember. There was just like one thing after the other today, and I was like, I would just like to have a break. Yeah. So the the thing dropped, the the paint water, the Photoshop that took forever to load. He was going to oh, do a quick project. I had a, um, a contract to fill out. Guess what? The contract was empty. <laughs> I was like, what in the world? Yeah. I need to burn some sage. Get some rest. I'm going to go and fume out the base plant with the sage. <laughs> They're going to be like, your house is on fire. 
<laughs> we have all the sage from the store in the basement right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna light it all up. And, uh, light it up, up, up. I'm light gonna be hot boxing the sage, y'all. <laughs> it's gonna be something new. I'm gonna uh, feel the uh, enlightenment. <laughs> Anybody want that yellow? Anybody one? want this one yet? They still want to grab. He's like, I'm tired of seeing these. I mean, now that I know what it is, it's kind of useful, but. Well, we'll keep it if no one wants it. But if somebody wants it and you've ordered something recently, we'll send it to you. We just opened them just now, so. It's not like it's been like rolling around. No, they were in plastic until just now. Um, who knows what we're going to give away during this chat right while now, he's <laughs> as he's cleaning stuff. Like, uh, you want a box of razor blades, right? everybody? <laughs> Some people probably would. Yeah, the razor they're, blades are expensive. They're useful and they're expensive, right? I was like, how, how much? I got exactly <laughs> nice. And I was like, how much is this? I thought it was like, going to be like $5. It was like $35. I was like, do what? What? This name brand? <laughs> Can you get me some we don't, Extremo you, blades? We don't buy the name brand. <laughs> Extremo. <laughs> um, so remember, everybody, this is a Let's Chat. So let's chat. What you got to chat about today? Um, the chat and the earthquake. And I know the world. earthquake moved the world. They move the mountains. And then the did you see Jen's tutorial. Did y'all watch that? Did you watch last moving mountains? How Jen, did that video? Jen rank? brought in the earthquake. Um, the video ranked, I think, six out of ten. So that's pretty good because it's long. One, it's right? a long one. The, the hour. The hour. average watch. It was an hour and a half, I think, the video. The average watch was about 16 minutes. Mm, what about mine? That was probably not good. I don't know. Yours? Probably one. <laughs> negative one. <laughs> Nine out of ten. Ten out of ten. I don't know what it Eleven. was. Eleven. It didn't even rank. Um, no, I don't actually know what it was because it was it was an odd one. And we've been busy this week. Um, let's Let's take a look. Let's find out. If I can. Sometimes. I think we haven't posted any videos since then. Switch account. We are up to, though, that's really nice, 1,901 subscribers on YouTube. We're very, very close. In the last 28 days, we've added 149 subscribers. Wow. So thank you all for sharing. We're trying to get to that 2,000 mark. We've heard good things around the 2,000 mark. I heard it was 10,000. Well, that's going to take a lot longer, but we got to get to the 2,000. got some friends? <laughs> got some friends. All their friends is probably tired of hearing about it. <laughs> oh, oh, them again. again. Them again. Let's see your analytics. Uh, making a silicon mold. We've got 70 views on that one since it was published. People have watched 6.3 hours worth of that. Huh? How is that? Those 70 people watched it for a total of 6.3 hours. So they just watched on repeat. <laughs> well, it is 24. People. It's almost in a half an hour long. So it would only take 12 people to get to six hours. Um, let's Ooh, see. I see how much money I made off that. Yeah, big, big money. I can't even Almost buy a, a dollar. I can't even buy a stamp. Almost, <laughs> almost a dollar on that. Send a letter. <laughs> can't even send a letter to YouTube, right? View duration was about five and a half minutes. They can't take it. Me going, um, um <laughs> I was real tired, y'all. So that made it extra. They were when, extra. I took out like, I took out like 30 ums. I took out half of his ums. So <laughs> I either I either muted them or I cut them um, out. So that's nice and fun. Marius has been through several earthquakes. Um, let's see. Norma says, I've watched the wire part up to where the beating starts. Now I have to watch the rest. That's where the fun part starts. This weekend, um, which I still have to edit that video tonight. Nothing like night, last night. minute. It's going to be the short one, though. This is a very short one. Jen uses different size wire to show you how to make a head pin. A nice, curly, cute little head pin. That's so useful. It is useful. So that's going to be a short one this weekend. 
a lot of you had requested to do the short one. I said, I have a short one and a long one. So you all said you wanted the short one, not a single person wanted the long one this weekend. Um, I, we've done a number of longish ones and Jen has given you a lot to do over these past few weeks. So it'll be a good time, make some head pins and catch up on some other things that you've missed maybe. All right, so that's going on. And this week we had the Laura Lunsford trunk show. Did you see that? The album. I posted the album. So the Laura Lunsford trunk show, I think, happened on Monday. We were so excited. We got it in the mail and we did it immediately before we even looked at everything. So I took a look at like one of the, the six or seven little um, bundles. So unboxing. it was more of an unboxing and a trunk show. If you missed that, please check out that video. It's a fun video to watch, I think, anyway but you can see the items in movement in the video and then i saw so many talking where they were like oh i don't like to look at beads on video and i was like why i know i don't know well if you like photos we do a lot of photos too um but this one so you can watch the video and if you see something you like we put an album on facebook you have to be on facebook sorry but that's the place where you can put the albums the best. No other social media place allows you to do like big albums. So my space. my space, good old my space. So we put the album up and you kind of look at the album first and then go to the video to see it in motion. If you want, if you go on um, the replay, you can skip ahead, of course. You or know, you can an account on um i think either it's either tiktok or um on instagram and they went and they found old vines y'all remember vines mm -hmm. and they have like a million followers they don't even they didn't even make this stuff yep. and they're just reposting old vines. meta content just sharing the old and stuff and i was like how in the world I don't know. Right. Suzanne says, yes, Laura Lunsford Trunk Show was great. I think it was superb. It was a beautiful show. Lots of great stuff for y'all. There are still amazing things available. That one piece of ceramic is still there. I don't know how. There's always one that I'm, it's like a mystery. Yeah. Like, how did it happen? Why is it still there? I think one of the goddesses is still there. At least one of them. I don't know how. Um, but so you can either watch the video and then go and see if the one you like is still available in the album or start in the album and then go to the video. We use the same lot numbers for the album and the video. So if you see an LL9 in the album, you can find LL9 throughout the video and see it in motion if you want to see it in motion. What do you think these are? Show them. They're like, whoa, whoa. Bag, bag of random metal. Amy says, I can't believe that citrine piece was still there. I think it is still there. The big one? The big citrine, the real citrine. What do you? What is that for? What do you think those are for, everybody? They have, they have that on there. We're going to put some bone tubes. They don't even fit through there. So put some bone tubes through there. Doesn't that seem like unusually large? Like the hole? Yeah, I don't know what that's for. Like a hinge? It looks like it would be a hinge of some sort, but... Does anybody know? Some kind of pendant, maybe. Something. Marion says, I got something from the album. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you can claim on the album on the pieces uh, in the captions if you want to, but I did say that if you send an email, emails get priority. So um, everyone has emailed. Not a single person tried to do it in the captions, so that's good. And a number of them have sold out since we posted the album. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, I think Did we got six them? or seven or eight. Yeah, I marked them as sold in the captions. Yeah. Um, so six or seven of them, I think, have sold. Um, Amy says maybe for larger cord. I don't know what that is. It's like Does to anybody make... want that? Does anybody want a bag of these? Of uh, mystery, of mystery pendant. pendants makers. Anybody want that? Yeah, I've ordered something recently. Andrew's just giving it away. 
I don't know who's gonna buy that. How am I, I gonna know. sell that? I mean, like this thing, this very useful thing it's, that nobody knows. What nobody knows what to do with it. It has a bell up here to hold it, and it's decorative here. But then I don't know what you, if if you have a use for this and you've ordered something recently, we're not gonna pay shipping on a free item. But if you want this, say it in the comments, and we'll give it to you. I'm just giving stuff away here today. Yeah, do it. Please, somebody take it. <laughs> Please, somebody, please. Um, so the album is up, and I'm working on the going to be working on the uh, head pin tutorial for this weekend. Jen sent me photos, but I haven't gotten those even done yet. It's been a crazy time. Um, Barbara's up shipping stuff today. We got some more orders out. If you have been waiting for the cabochon, the Redux cabochon kit, a number of those have shipped out. I got the pendants together and ship those. Andrew's got wide eyes when I said that. I like, where did it go? <laughs> I snuck the beads out yesterday because um, we had uh, we had somebody who was in a rush to get their order for a birthday and I just got all the other ones together. So those are all out and I dye sublimated all the pendants at once. Um, so those are out. I got a bunch of pins out. Um, Sometimes when things come into this room, they kind of linger. They linger. They get swept into the tide pool oh, vortex. Um, I need to do a, a actually how to do that. It's 62. You start with 62, and then you make a loop, and then you tie it, and then do peyote stitch. So there you go, everybody. 62. It's the magic number. Magic number. Um, but we'll make an announcement when we do that if you if you don't want to try it on your own. Mm -hmm. I know some, some people. Some of y'all already know how to yeah. do it. So the hardest part is getting the right number. Because yeah. if it's one B too short, it's too tight. If it's one B too big, it buckles. So you I had to remake that. And you don't and you don't see it right away either. That's the thing. Yeah. It's like you have to make it and then see. And then see it. And then I also try to do it five different ways Wait. to make it easier and then it wasn't i still haven't found that sample so <laughs> i might have cut it up if i if you if you found it and put it in my pile i may cut it up for the i beads. don't think i didn't find it all right so. cheryl says just stopping by to say hi taking a walk with the fur baby have a great weekend you too cheryl thanks you don't want any of these mystery. Nobody, nobody, nobody wants, wants that. Nobody wants it. They're like, I don't want that. I was just looking like my one shoulder. This shoulder's always tense. <laughs> you can see the shoulder's like, oh, nice and low. This one's like. I think I that's our bed, yo. Because <sighs> I have this weird thing where on my neck, I had one sternomastoid <laughs> that was always flexed. flexed. And yeah, like this, and this side is always. Don't. 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm very off, very off kilter here. I can see it in the camera. Amy says chiropractor. I know, I know. We got it now. They got health insurance switched around again. You still have to pay, right? Uh, I think chiropractic care is included in this one. Oh, good. Or at least there's probably a uh, what you would call it. Can your relative uh, do it? She doesn't do chiropractic, but um. Chiropractic? Isn't that what it is? Chiropractic? I don't know. <laughs> that sounds not right. <laughs> anyway, they don't do chiropractic care. She doesn't, but her office does. I could do it up there. Wow. Uh, my mom That's got me a massage now. thing up there, though. So I could maybe book the same twice in one go. But the one down here is where Jen goes, Dr. Pete, in town. And both Barb and Jen swear by Dr. Pete. So I might try and get that. Sound like he's busy. Yeah, but takes away um, knee pain. How does he like suck it out? <laughs> takes away knee pain and uh, does he use apparently the I don't know what he does. You but I had that old. I don't know if you you had these people do it. They take the egg and they like rub it on your head and then then <laughs> I've never seen takes that. Takes the bad takes the bad egg out. Takes the bad energy out. Uh, Jen says, I like Dr. Pete. He's just awesome. Yeah, that's so I'm thinking about going there um, because you can walk to that. I can walk there. Barb 
said that he gets rid of her tinnitus even when her tinnitus starts up and I have tinnitus. Maybe it's from my neck. Who knows? Apparently that can be a thing. And then uh, Jen, I think it was her knee. Um, but the yeah, whole sciatica, the whole sciatica thing can be taken care of too. We might both be visiting Dr. P. Yeah, might be making a visit to, uh, I don't know, the bed store. <laughs> Purple.com, right? Is that the one that blows up by itself? Purple mattress. That's the, I think it's one of those. It's one of those. There are many of those out there. Did anybody claim them pendants? No. Ugh. Nobody wants them. Um, this. Sandra like says, this. Did I tell you Sweet Pea had fleas? They're, a, they're a bleep to get rid of. I can't even imagine. If we had cats. Ceresto. Yeah, Ceresto works, but it's also a pesticide. So you got to decide if you want to do that or not. Paolo was real sensitive to it, so it yeah. made his hair fall off in one spot. Yeah, we had to stop using them because they went out and we were in the country. They didn't go outside. They didn't go outside. They went on the porch, which was a second story porch. But, but um, we lived in the country. We so could track fleas in sometimes. That was not ideal. We did have fleas in the apartment once. That was not great and we had to do everything we could to get them get rid of that we salted like my grandmother always you take the big things of table salt and you salt your carpets or salt your floors um it's okay on carpets hardwood i don't know if you want to salt your hardwood hardwood but if you have carpets like my grandmother did and we did you salt them and that helps dry out the egg sacs from the fleas supposedly um, so that they don't ever hatch and then borax too, right? We use borax. Mm -hmm. Borax. And we have to use fruit flea powder. And flea powder. Um, so yeah, they're hard to get rid of once you've got them. And then we moved here, and then we didn't have them. Knock on wood. I know. We don't have, haven't had them here. I can't imagine trying to clean this house if it had fleas. <laughs> <We> just move. <laughs> we just. <laughs> Close it up, tape it off, and move. And then <laughs> let the fleas on. Let the, the fleas take over. Um, doesn't salt bring roaches? We don't have. It? We don't have I roaches. Don't That's sugar, right? Sugar wood, salt. I can't imagine, but we don't have really roaches around here. And anyway, you vacuum it up. So you you put the salt down, and then you leave it down for ten to thirty minutes, um, which gives it time to dry out any of the egg sacs that might be around. And then you vacuum it all up and you do that repeatedly over and over for days. And supposedly it helps cut down on fleas reproducing. I, I don't know. Sandra says she was miserable, scratching, licking. It was driving me crazy. I bet. I bet. The um, best the rest of calls did work. Yeah, Jen, uh, Dr. Pete helped with whiplash and knees when she was hit by a car. So... Yeah, Jen got hit by a car in a parking lot. Yeah, so um, we almost didn't have Jen. Almost, almost didn't have Jen, right? That'd be terrible. So, what else is happening, everybody? Fumigate says Amy. I know, right? Oh, those bombs! They, they do used make to have those. to set off those bombs in Florida. Those, like, you have to like. Push the button and then run. Run. Did y'all have that? Or is that like a... We had them up here. We never had to use them. I think they're like super poisonous yeah. too. And they're like... It's like you have to like wipe all your surfaces down after. Uh -huh. and Yeah. But... Yeah. We had them. I don't know if they still make those though. They might be so bad anymore that you're, they don't make them. I haven't... I, I don't remember seeing those. Suzanne says those bombs were horrible. Yeah, because they were... They, they were poison. Yeah, it was just poison shooting everywhere. Um, I don't think we ever used them. We never had to use them in our house. And we had a lot of animals. We got fleas sometimes, but we did the salt thing, the borax thing, but that usually got rid of them. Uh, I think the Florida stuff's too sturdy for salt. Maybe. They all put, got they'll the take big bugs. it and put it on their own. <laughs> the big bugs. So nobody want them pendants. Nope, nobody want them. What else were you offering up? Not anything until somebody takes them. <laughs> so you guys, if you want anything, you do not get them. Yeah, the train stops. <laughs> the train stops and people don't keep picking up the merchandise. 
so so I'm on a roll here cleaning. He's yeah. Anybody if you want these, there's a whole little bag of these, just say it. And if you ordered something, we'll ship them to you. You can add them to your collection. All right. Um Sanders says, yes, they still do make them. I'm trying not to use them. Yeah, that's not good. Try the salt and borax if you need to help with your house. Um if you have carpeting. I don't know. If you have hardwood, I don't know if salt is good on hardwood. Probably not. But hardwood's pretty easy to clean. You just vacuum it, right? It's where you get the in the and you can do salt on your on some furnitures and stuff too. Um, so, because fleas get in there too, in your couches and your beds. Ugh. You're making me itchy just. Like I know. That's why I'm always like, please don't let us ever get them here. Um, that's just can't imagine. I don't think they'd survive. <laughs> He's like, they wouldn't survive here. Many <laughs> um, Norma says, I used to have to help my grandmother use those bombs, closing her house for the summer in Boynton Beach uh, when she moved back north in the spring. You know what we should do? is We should do that for the basement for the gypsy moths. Oh, those little moths. Because um, I went to get a sweater when it got cold, and there were all these holes in it. I know. I know. And a lot of my sweaters like got holes. On the nipple. So <laughs> Of course, it's only the nice sweater, the wool sweaters. All the nylons and poly sweaters, they are fine. So that's all we buy anymore. <laughs> buy nice wool or cashmere. I haven't bought anything nice in a long time. No, no. Um, Sandra says, I have tile. I've gotten bitten too. Oh, I bet. boy. Yeah. And it's no fun. Nobody wants some tennis. Nope. The train, the, the giveaway train has ground to a halt. I'm going to take one for the team, y'all. <laughs> you got more stuff to give away down there? I thought I did. He says, I thought I did. Nobody People wants them. Don't, don't like it. Nobody wants freebies. A closed hand cannot receive. <laughs> so what else is going on, everybody? What else is going on here? What do we what do we what else we do this week? We did the Laura Lunsford Trunk Show. What was on Tuesday? We did my tutorial that four people watched. We did miscellaneous lots, MML lots on Tuesday. And we did resin. We did the resin came out. The resin tutorial on YouTube came out. No, it is silicone. Silicone. And then I did resin. What'd you do in resin? I showed them how to pour that business. Did you? That's why that business is there. Oh. That he then forgot. And then what else I do? I don't know. I showed them how, how to make a fish, important? bead embroidery. Bead embroidery fish. And then what else? Uh, we did the bone. The bone. Bone was yesterday. I have no money left after the bone lot, says Suzanne. Thank you. Thank you. Cinnamon says hello to Barnaby. Barnaby is, I think he's downstairs. He's not in the basement yet. He was trying to get down in the basement. Um, Susan Dick says the rabbit. Yeah. I don't remember you showing them how to do the that. That's so wild. Tell me with Jen, so. Maybe that was it. You actually did a pouring? Yeah. Boy, I really didn't see that. I don't know how I'm. That's well, erased. Nobody else watched it either. <laughs> I was watching while Jen was filming, so I'm like, that totally has been erased from my mind. Um, I don't remember a pour, because um, I was going to ask about filming that for the other part. We probably should, and get actual graduated cups, so that it's not. So are you sure nobody wants those pendants? Nobody wants them. They're free, everybody. Somebody. Andrew's not going to give away more free stuff if these don't go. So the train stops. <laughs> All you have to do is have ordered something, and we're giving away this whole bag of whatever these are. That's the next challenge. <laughs> it's going to be the next challenge if y'all don't. Um... It's going to be Project Runway style. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your challenge. Do these look familiar? We're just going to include one of these in a bunch of people's shipment and uh -huh. be like, okay. Well, we'll charge y'all. <laughs> Charge y'all and tell you this is a challenge. Instead of getting for free, <laughs> Marianne says, "Okay, send them to me." Okay. And then Norma says, "Okay, I'll take them." All right. Here's the next one. Hold on, hold on. Let me put the a name. Marianne's getting these. 
Marianne. Okay. Marianne, Norma both trying to take one for the team. And so you can split the bag properly. <laughs> He's like, you both you really want it? Maybe that's your new favorite thing. You, you never know. know. Here, split the bag. <laughs> that's all right. Let's keep going. You know, you want Norman to have some of those? <laughs> you want to share, Marianne? You don't have to share if you don't want to. <laughs> What's but next? I thought y'all were friendly. So. <laughs> What's next? Um, here's this. These look like the candy that tastes like medicine. Candy that tastes like medicine. What are those, Mike and Ike's? I don't know. I never liked whatever that candy was. <laughs> Mary has like, please split them. <laughs> please split them. So anybody want this bag? It's another freebie. It is not candy that tastes like medicine. They are nice, cool beads. I don't know what kind. Okay, Marianne, we'll split them. You and Norma. Barb's gonna be like, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> like, don't don't worry about it. This is called a giveaway palooza. Giveaway palooza. Barb's gonna be like, "Where's mine?" <laughs> you want to send it? <laughs> Here you go. Here's your bonus. So you each get five of these wonderful. Well, thanks for working so hard. Here's your bonus. <laughs> you know, I take cash and cash. Right. Okay. There, we split them. Anybody want these? Nobody's saying anything. Boy, we can't give stuff away. Okay. Six dollars. Anybody want to buy this for six? Lot number. <laughs> Lot number. Freebie number one. Six dollars. Um... We tried to give them away. Now we have to sell them to you. Um, they're just like, we just want to support you all so much. We don't want to take anything for free, right? But really, these are free if anybody wants them. Anybody? Anybody at all? Suzanne says, I'm dying here laughing. Oh. Different. I'm going to keep these. <laughs> I'm going to pile. I'm pile so, oh, and Andrew updated the Patreon. Like five times. Like five times. You didn't see? You did a lot of updating. I didn't get to see it yet. I don't get to see it because they're blanked out. Did you put them up for everybody? I didn't look. You get I'm not a member of our own Patreon. Even though you have the password? It. I told you, it doesn't let me in. You can use my phone. Let me see. Can you see it? Here. Star Cottage studio it doesn't even fill it out no matter how many times i go there posts oh we can't see that one the new prototype post is up but the january ish the tier reward is you have to join to see that the new acquisitions that's free to look at the february ish tier reward is behind lock and key and so is the march tier reward and daffodil time is locked up i don't know why the daffodils is locked up i don't know you locked it up i don't know whatever <laughs> he's like whatever so um let's see amy's asking are these ceramic or wood mm, they, I think they feel like ceramic ceramic or glass let me look let me smash one for you they're glazed like they're ceramic or glass, it looks like. I think they're Czech, like real old. Wait, there's one that's cracked. Taste it. And just putting know, everything in his mouth today. They're, that's like this one. They look like terracotta on the inside. There was this one person at the beach shows who's always like testing stuff by tasting it. And it's like, you know that that's been people been fingering that business. I know. There's another cracked one. It's pink on the inside too. They look like terracotta, like a ceramic. They're definitely not wood. No, they're ceramic. They're ceramic. So there you go. <laughs> Suzanne says gross. Marianne yeah. saw the Patreon posts. One time I went to um, Tucson 
and I was looking at these um, Native American Navajo rings, and the, you couldn't really get them out, so you kind of had to point to them, and, and they were like in a case. And so he pulled it out, and before he handed it to me for to try on, he rubbed it all over his nose <laughs> and greased it up. And he was like that, and I was like, I was, you could tell that I was like speechless, horrified. And then he's like, "That's how you, how you um, make it look nice." And I was like, "Oh, that's okay." <laughs> I can see you saying that's okay too. I was like, "Never mind." Never mind. <laughs> oh, I I spent my budget. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I forgot. My budget's already blown. Oops. Um, yeah. <laughs> So if you don't know what our Patreon is, everybody, Patreon is a platform where you can support artists and makers and anybody, really. Um, we have our Patreon set up, patreon.com slash Studio. It is uh, set up originally to raise money for Star Cottage Studio and the things we do there. And that's still mainly what it's used for. Um, we were going to do it like HGTV. Yeah, but it, then we never did it because it, you you apparently have to have money to make renovations. <laughs> yeah, we were gonna show all the renovations we did, and we did, but then we stopped because we ran out of money. And then um, then, there, then it's like we bought a a, a light. <laughs> so now, um, a solar you, light. You join up for uh, uh, every month, and you pay. There's three different tiers that you can pay for. And that helps support the things we do there. Um, sometimes it's buying solar lights for outside, but we always show you sometimes it's weed eaters. Um, and that sounds weird. Right? Yeah, but that happens. So that is the, the Patreon you can join and support us. The more people we get, the more fantastic things we can do though at the cottage. So uh, feel free to share that link with your friends. Let me put a banner up here because like I said, the more people who support us there and the more money we get every month from those things, we can continue doing lots of great things at Star Cottage Studio and all of Allegory Gallery. We were going to re-up it into like fold everything in, but we've just never done that. Um, and right now, whatever money we make there every month goes back into Star Cottage Studio. It either rolls over to the next month until we need a, that whatever amount we need. Um, or we have a use for the money. So did anybody claim those? No, nope, nobody claimed them. They're still available. Ceramic. Free ceramic little spacer beads. Confetti mix. Confetti mix, all free. With that, um, that confetti mix. Michelle is here. Hello, Michelle. Um, Amy says, "Bro, that's how you clog your pores." <laughs> you don't have to worry. <laughs> Um, Michelle says, busy adding the last clasp to the bracelet I have been making. Nice. That's good. That's good. So anybody want this freebie? It's free. Norma says, I'll take the beads. All right. Good. good. Remember, it's the first person to claim. You can claim everything tonight if you want to. Whatever Andrew's giving away. There are no limits. As long as you've made an order recently, we're not shipping any freebies on our dime. No. This is some terrible... If you want that, otherwise it's going to These are pretty nice. What do you mean terrible? Um, they're poison but they're done with resin. And I have no love for them. These poison yeah, Kind There's, of. But, mm, I think they're pretty. Mm, they go really well with lapis. Or coral or carnelian. They're cloisonne, but they're just resin. They're not real glass cloisonne. Mm. Nobody wants that. It's going in the trash. I can't get those to zoom in right. But anyway, you saw kind of what they were, right? Everybody see kind of what they were? Mm. There you go. They're on the bag. You get the whole bag. Okay. Suzanne says, I'll take two. You don't, two. We're not splitting them up. We're not we splitting them up. We did that for the pendants. <laughs> yeah. Suzanne, you get them. Marianne said, mine, please. Okay. Who wants them? You can split it then. Okay. Suzanne, okay, gets two. Marianne gets the rest. How about that? Okay. 
Okay, so there's that. And then Marianne. Gets the rest. Julie says, gorgeous. See? Yeah, you have to have made an order recently. And we're only doing that because we can't spend the money to ship them to you. No, we're on a budget. We are on a budget. Okay. So there they are. What the, the, We'll see what Andrew comes up with next, maybe. Maybe more oh. stuff. Who knows? We still have this. Nobody claimed the 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 so, soap, the dry like soap. Wash your hands. <laughs> the, these are dry soap slips. Y'all knew what that was. Yeah, we had no idea what this was. I um, was like, is it for eating? They're brand new. We just took them out of the package. Andrew used one out of here to test it, to see what it was. It, it was fine. It was fine. It was like high quality soap. <laughs> Good enough if you're in the Porta John. I know. Right. Um, so yeah, that's what else is happening, everybody. Anybody else have anything going on? Anybody else have any news? Any anything? It's comedy hour up in here today. Who? I don't know. We're I Who's feel like comedy. We're, I feel Who like we're that? comedy hour. I said that. Name them. Name them. <laughs> Me. I said that. These are a bunch of Andrew's earrings he made. That's not for free, though. He says those aren't for free. No, I didn't think they were for free. When did you make all these? Can you see I did that as a tutorial. I thought so. Are those nice earrings? I made a little hat. Does I that? kind of does look like a person. These ones. I like these ones. Whoop. I like these ones. And they're crooked now. Some must have got smushed them. Smushed them. Norma says, William, did you ever read my email? I thought I replied to your email. Maybe check your spam folder, Norma. Check your spam. If not, maybe... Because now my computer holds emails now. And sometimes I shut down my email system quick after I do an email or shut my computer and maybe it didn't send, so I'll look. But check your spam, because I'm pretty sure, I thought I responded. It's Mercury time. So it I'm is gonna... Mercury time. Um, anybody else doing stuff? Just house drama for me, says Sandra. Looking for a job too, talk to a recruiter this week. What kind of job are you looking for? Yeah, what are you looking to do? Maybe our AGB fam knows somewhere or something. Oh, what about um, our jewelry forum? They're looking for a new executive director. Oh. You know how to do social media. Yeah. Art jewelry forum? Mm-hmm. Check that out, Sandra. That they have like lots of good. people who are very wealthy and collect jewelry. <laughs> There you go. You never know. In theory, I'm a member of it, but I don't get emails from them. <laughs> Weren't you just talking about that? They're not the only ones. <laughs> Say again, says Sandra. Art Jewelry Forum. Art Jewelry Forum, looking for an executive director. Suzanne's got to get dinner ready. Everybody have a great weekend, she says. You too, Suzanne. Thank you for checking in on us all, too. And there's another place too. We join our team, and it was a gallery manager up close. I don't know. I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. It was in North Carolina. That's nice. Because they're moving to North Carolina, right? Mm -hmm. Just outside Raleigh. I'll keep an ear open. Hello, Anne. Anne just joined us, Anne Schroeder. Thank you for joining us. Are you getting ready for your animal auction? Susan Surreal joined us over on Instagram. I mean, you're alive. I know. I saw you posting. I, I messaged. I'm nervous. I know. I, I posted again under the other post, like, just checking in again. And, and then I saw you posted a song the other morning. I was like, okay. They're still okay. They're still alive over there. You know, though, you never know, because there was one person 
and they did a bunch of like they pre-scheduled a bunch of oh. posts and then they passed away and then people were like i thought you're dead how are you posting <laughs> that's creepy i don't i think it's like a bonus <laughs> extra bonus in life yeah uh sandra says thanks for the tip i'll check it out no why not I don't yeah. know if they pay enough. Yeah, I don't know what they pay, what, what you're looking for. But the executive director. Yeah, get into that art stuff. Mm -hmm. That art stuff. Um, what else is going on, everybody? I'm trying to think what else is going on here. I have to edit the video tonight. I was for supposed this to weekend. go to Pittsburgh tonight, but then I decided not to. Oh, that's road. right. That was tonight. It was book club, right? <laughs> yeah, I didn't finish anyway, so it's all right. We've been too busy. Been very busy. Plus, I've been listening to Dragons. So <laughs> I saw you. You got your next three books. Oh yeah, my the credits. Uh huh. Uh, apparently, there's only nine books, so I'm um, only nine. I know. <laughs> that's over how many ninety hours? Uh, uh, yeah. I go through a book a night sometimes two nights marianne says watched it snow this morning you can keep it yeah it was snowing here but we um <clears throat> we are done with the snow now Correct. we've decided we're done yeah, i keep i keep slinking down lower and lower i um, wonder why your shoulders are susan says hello to everybody and anyone i may have missed thank you for joining in I'm glad that you're doing well and you're all alive after those tornadoes. Um, what else is happening? You went to pottery. Huh? You went to pottery I class. I did go to pottery class. What did, did you do in your class? On Wednesday. Um, what did I do in my class? I had things in all stages. I think I talked about this a little bit, but... Um, I had two bowls to glaze, and I glazed them with some pretty blue and whites and grayish glazes. I think the combination is going to look really pretty. And on the inside, I used a brand new glaze that we got testers of. Um, so I'm really excited to see what that turns out like. It's... I wish I went to that in Sika. Yeah. Even though I don't do ceramics as much at all. So we did that, and then I um, I trimmed, which means taking it from the leather hard stage and um, cutting out the bottoms, or um, you know, you can decorate them at that point. They're like able to be cut into and shaped a little bit. Um, so I did that. And broke one of them because I was making things so beautifully thin that when I picked it up, it just broke. Because at that stage, they're also very um, susceptible to cracking. Fragile. Fragile. So I did break something, but I, um, Amy helped me save it by turning it into an upright spoon holder for the kitchen. This so, is teacher Amy. Amy's my teacher. Roadman. She's like, I wanted to make myself one of those. Why don't you make one instead of just trashing your whole thing? Like that one lady on the pottery show. Yeah, she was not afraid. She's like, I'm... if she would have just kept going. Herself. Yeah, she saw, if she would have kept going, she'd have been fine, uh -huh. I think. But then uh, she got in her head and then she started smushing stuff. Um, Susan says we're at the St. Louis Symphony to see Mike Mills and the SLSO in concert. Mike Mills of REM. Nice. Wow. That's awesome. Enjoy. Enjoy it. Um, so, go. Anybody want some tetanus metal? <laughs> oh, he's making it sound so lovely. So I did that. I made an upright spoon holder, so I'm excited to see how that's going to come out. Um, Oh, that is kind of tetanus metal, isn't it? You thought I was joking. Nah. nah not. So, anybody want some metal leaves? They don't have any bells. They don't have any bells. If and you, the you ends, should file that. Yeah, the ends are a little sh sharper-ish. But you can file those off. Burn file those some concrete. File those off, and then you could drill holes in them. 
You can yeah. put holes. Just... They look like they're steel. So I there's think they're off of a wind chime. They're all different sizes. So there's like little ones, bigger ones. There's a whole little bag of them. So if you want these, they're nice little leaves. They just they look like they've been it looks like somebody went like this till they broke off of something. Mm -hmm. They're just a little bit sharp there, but um, they're nice. So if anybody wants that, they're free. You just have to have made an order recently so we can ship it in the order. If we have an order outstanding that we haven't shipped to you yet, you can claim these. They're free. Andrew's giving stuff away tonight. So, yeah. So I did that in my pottery, and then I decorated a bowl. I started carving out some things, and a bowl I just carved some, like, hash marks out on a bowl, or I don't know what you call them. Um, because I want to use a glaze that's going to fill in and kind of change colors over those. So I did that, and um, those were the bowls that were made using the new clay that we're working with How in the pottery it? studio. Uh, well, it broke, but um, it was pretty nice in general to work with. It was easy to smooth out. Again, it was easy to carve. So I really like it. I it's really like it. Awesome. It's pretty, yeah, it has no grit or grog. No, they call it grog. No grog. Um, it's just a super smooth clay. But it is the same clay, too, that when I was doing it on the wheel, I could get it really thin, and then I pushed it too far, and it started to collapse. But I was able to work it back. Like, usually, you know, on a wheel, it's going this way, so you're spinning that way. But I pulled up. And I guess like change direction of the clay and it fixed it. I was able to fix the collapse, oh, yeah. which I've never been able to do with the other clays. So um, that was pretty cool. And so it was pretty easy to work with. It is very soft and it is very, very messy. Like it's one of the clays that like there was just is sludge. Like porcelain? It's not quite a porcelain, no, but it, it's, like, I've never worked with porcelain, so I don't know exactly, but it was very sludgy. Sometimes the porcelain, I would take it out and leave it, the bag open overnight so it would dry out. Dry out a little bit. Or I'd put it on top of a bunch of cardboard, and then the cardboard leach is a liquid. So yeah. then it's a little bit stiffer. Well, this one was, it started out pretty okay, but I use a lot of water when I, when I do my stuff, I think. Um, but that's because my hands constantly rub and distort the clay if I don't. Um, nope, I want them tetanus leaves. Nope. Oh, Throw them away. Six dollars now. <laughs> right, everything's six dollars if it doesn't go for free. Um, Amarte1985 joined us again today on Instagram. Thank you for watching us again. We see you almost every day. We appreciate it. I don't know who you are, but you watch. We appreciate that. Sometimes I don't know people from their names. No. I, especially on Instagram, I'm not good about that. I'm not on Instagram much. I love the Instagram. Andrew is. Plus, I can play cat videos and self-soothe. <laughs> self-soothe with cat videos. Correct. Um, I feel like, yeah, and then I put some pottery up on the online store. So, some people grabbed that. I think there's only one piece left which is the tumbler i think um which i uh i don't know why it's not sold honestly it's one of my favorites yeah just a tumbler and then that little bowl this little bowl i like that bowl i know i thought that bowl was gonna sell right away in that speckled clay it looks like clouds yeah but it's still available too um and then some of my other, my wood-fired stuff. This one, I understand why it's still available. But I kind of like that. It has a little bit of a dent in it. But it's I think it's kind of cool. And then wood-fired. And then this one, my little vase-like thing. Which I know why that one's still there. That one's going to be a particular person that likes that. It looks like uh, bronzite. I know. I like it. I think it's kind of cool as a little a vase, but um, it's not for everybody. Nobody wants some tetanus leaves. Nobody wants the tetanus leaves. 
Maybe I don't call them tennis. Maybe. Sandra says I wanted the yellow ceramic one, but it sold. Yellow. The the no, the no, mug no. or the bowl. Because the yellow tumbler, yellow and speckled tumbler is still out there. But if you're talking about the yellow mug, yes, both of the yellow mugs sold. Uh, the first one sold right quick. Um, and then the other one just sold, I think, yesterday. Good chat, Brian. Thank you. And I did not get pictures. I keep saying I'm going to get pictures of these ones that I have here in the office. Um, but I haven't gotten pictures of those yet to, to do that. Sandra says she'll take the leaves. Oh. All right. Thank you. Sandra's taking the leaves. Now we can move on to the next free thing. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, but there's still some wood-fired stuff out there. Uh, the cup, the mug, I'm guessing the mug is the one you wanted because the cup, the tumbler is still there, um, which I like the tumbler a lot, but I guess not everyone... Or most people like handles. I hate doing handles, honestly. I've not gotten into the groove of doing handles. Um, I, I, and I drink from mostly things that don't have handles, and I think that's why. <clears throat> but I know most people like handles. So that's, I do have four more things with handles that are currently, what stage are they in? They're going into bisque fire. So they will be bisque fired and I'll be able to glaze them maybe this coming week um, if she gets the bisque fire done this week. So that'll be Does nice. Does she fire every week? She, I think, fires multiple times a week. Some, she does a bisque and then she does a glaze fire. Um, there's enough stuff and enough students anymore that she's firing pretty often, I think. Are you allowed to hang out <clears> when she does that? Um, I don't know when firing. she actually does the firings, whether it's, I think she does them overnight. So no one's there anyway. But like when she's like setting it up? She was taking it out today, this week. She was taking stuff out. Mm. And I think the one, the other week she was packing things in. She mostly does it when we're not having class though, because we're there to learn and she's there to teach. I know, but that's something you can learn. Yeah. About how to set all that business up. Does she do clones or is it digital? Digital. Because I don't think she, I, she has cameras in there and heat sensors for the building, but she fires, I think, overnight. Oh. So it's all done. She has a, she just got a brand new kiln with a special digital readout and all that. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's exciting. I should have four more mugs with handles coming out. Harry shared a um, handle pulling video on my triers group on Facebook. And I've never seen anybody pull the handle attached to the mug already. Yeah. So that was interesting. So maybe I'll try that because I don't really like making handles. And although pulling the handle is more fun, I think, but we have been um, using handle tools that you take the whole block of clay and you just pull the tool across it and it creates the shape of the handle. <clears throat> so you can get like handles with like two bumps in them or handles of various shapes. I've so, seen that they have extruders. They have extruders too. This is just a, a little, it's like a carving tool, but you just take it across the block of clay and you get a handle. And that's how I made these last four that I've done. Um, I didn't pull the handles. So um, we'll see. We'll see. Kind of like pulling the handle. But these tools are pretty easy to use. And because I don't care to spend time making handles, um, I just did it right quick that way. So I have four more of those coming out. I have two bowls going into the glaze, firing probably this week or next week to see how that brand new glaze comes out. I hope it comes out nice. But I did the inside of the bowls with that brand new one and the outside one with some of the previous ones we've had, which is a favorite, apparently. That combination I used on the outside is a favorite in the studio. And then I have the two bowls that I trimmed. Well, the bowl and the now spoon rest. Two bowls, no, two bowls and the spoon rest, which will be bisque fired as well. So, wow, I got a lot. I got a lot and then i think i have a bowl still in the damp box which keep the damp box is plaster which has water in it 
that keeps the clay damp. It's locked up in a like a giant plastic box with a thick layer of plaster at the bottom that's damp. And it keeps the clay from drying out. So week to week, we can work on stuff. It's still malleable instead of it stays at like leather hard. Or if you've over dried something, you can put it in the damp box and it'll rehydrate the clay to a point and then you can work on it again. So I think I have a bowl, I think I do, in the damp box yet. Unless that's the one I've already sold, which I can't I can't keep track. So that's that's what I did in my class this week. Did you show them are you making something today? I don't know. What do y'all want to do? Are y'all done today? Or y'all want to hang out and make stuff? I don't want to make stuff if you're not all making stuff. So do y'all want to make stuff? Or are you all ready to be done for the week? Because I've got a video to edit either way. It's a short one, William. It's a short one, William, he says. Yeah. No. Short one. Short ones even take hours. We all want to do. You're all very quiet. Very quiet. Let me see if anyone's on Instagram talking. I switched the thing over. Nope. Nope. Everybody's quiet. What do you all want to do? What do you want to do? We had, what'd you all have for dinner? What'd you have for dinner? I, we made um, fake chicken burgers, chicken patty burgers. Anne says, I'm too sleepy to make anything. Marianne's having a lazy day. She's not making anything. Nobody wants to make anything. We had fake chicken meat patty burgers. I think they were pretty good. I still have one. I went grocery shopping today and got a bunch of stuff. Had lazy girls lasagna. What's lazy girls lasagna? What is lazy girls lasagna? Because I almost, I was going to make the stuff to make lasagna tonight. I was thinking about that. Huh? It takes too long. That's exactly why I didn't buy it. Because I knew Andrew would say it takes too long. I like it when we have time to do stuff like that. But right now we're in such a work. So busy. Um, we did decide we're going to open on Memorial Day weekend. That's some news. That is some news. So we were trying to uh, open here in April. That's not happening. So... Yeah. Um, between things we have to do and other obligations, not happening. So we are going to open Memorial Day weekend, which we is open earlier in May, but I'm going to be traveling a lot and I'd like to be there for the opening of this, our store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Memorial Day weekend is the Johnstown opening. Come hell or high water. I don't care if we're going to set out some folding <laughs> It's going to open Memorial Day weekend. So fine, if, you, <laughs> if you all want to uh, visit, you can plan for that weekend. Take a road trip. Um, come up to Johnstown and hang out with us. going on that weekend? And yeah, we weren't sure because we were like, should we do it that weekend? Because people sometimes go away. But then also that's a big retail sale weekend and some people do go shopping so we have no idea what's going to happen but that's what we're planning for um it was either that or the weekend before but andrew is traveling around a lot and we wanted to make sure that he would be around so that is what we're doing norma had fried chicken cob salad that sounds good um and says, I visited with my parents and sister today. My sister brought pizza crust she made for all of us, and we made pizza. That sounds good. That sounds great. How did they like them cookies? Yeah, how, how are the cookies? Did the cookies go over well? Daniel oh. Tiger seemed intrigued. <laughs> I know. We saw that pose. That was cute. Um, did he ever get any of cookies himself? Did he, did he listen good? Marion says, no layers, just the ingredients. That makes sense. Sometimes that seems like the thing to do. Um, Normus is not getting on the highway to visit Memorial Day weekend, LOL. I don't know. We don't know what anything's going to be like. Oh, there's Gertie. Gertie, good girl today. Yeah, she's a good girl. 
sometimes she's a good girl, sometimes she's a naughty girl. So like, what you doing coming on the TV? <laughs> right. Daniel got no cookies. My mom was happy. She said uh, they did have pot in them in the 70s. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds like that. <laughs> yep. Yep. Is Gertie getting a getting some screen time? Some cameo. Hi, Gertie. She's very cute. She's very cute. Look at those. Look at those very expressive eyes. Oh, Gertie, Gertie. She's a tortie. She's a tortie. Do you want to show our prototypes, or do you want to make them go to the Patreon? Did you all go to the Patreon to see the prototypes? Because you can just see them there. But since he already posted that, and since people had time, let's flip this around, and I'll show you these prototypes. And it says, Gertie is adorable. She's got the cutest eyes. She's very expressive with her eyes. Marianne went to the Patreon. And she touches you sometimes. Yeah, Gertie comes up and sometimes just one little paw. Like if she wants you to settle down. <laughs> she calms you down with one paw. Or if she needs something, she'll tap you. She's very cute. And she's real little. Yeah, she's tiny. Tallulah is like twice her size. Yeah. She's not allowed on camera. <laughs> She's naughty. She's not allowed in this room. No, she is not. All right. Normus has saw the prototypes on Patreon. What did you think of them then? How come nobody commented on what they think of our prototypes? Said so we did comment on the Patreon. Did you? I don't no, know. So. Nobody commented? We don't, we don't have that many people there, so maybe... Did anybody anybody comment? No. Two hearts, no comments. Okay, so uh, Sandra says Sweet Pea does that too. Like, Mom, it's okay, right? Okay, so the let me turn on this light. So these prototypes are laser engraved. Mother of Pearl. Yeah, we've been, um, we laser, we've been, we've had laser probably 10 years now. Yeah. We yeah. got them as soon as lasers, you could get them for your home. Probably, I don't know about 10 years, but. It's been a while. It's been a while. At so, least two, well, we ordered it, it took three years to get. <laughs> it did take three years to get. Um, I'm not exaggerating. No. It took three years. We were kind of freaking out. Like, is this place for real? Because they charge the credit card and then you wait three years to get it. Um, so, um, so we've had that for a while and we kind of, I think we were one of the first, if not the first person to make like wood components for people. Yeah, we started wood components very early in the jewelry business. Nowadays, Lots of people do them, yeah. um, which is fine, whatever. Um, and we kind of got away from doing as many, but who knows? I kind of like to circle back. Yeah, we're, we're thinking about it lately. So, anyway, so, um, you know, it's like everything. I kind of have like a attention span. So these are laser engraved Mother of Pearl that we started playing around with. And then Andrew's using things to darken in areas that have been engraved out and we we have been playing around with different settings that's one of my drawings this is one of andrew's drawings you may recognize this if you've ever gotten this wooden pendant this is part of a wooden pendant Usually yeah the wooden pendant is like this big um and it's this huge scene with the dragonflies and lilies and cattails and like a pond um so this is the first one we did. This is the fastest speed we tried. And the, I kind of like it. And the lowest resolution. So um, I it, like it. it came out very dark, which if you like darker things, you kind of have to like... It has the most detail. From the distance, though, it's hardest to see. Yeah. It you, does have the most detail. So... The most kind of shown there. Then there's the middle one, which is kind of a middle. It's a it's a slower speed, I think, and 
um, a higher resolution. So we slow down the laser a little bit and then give it more lines, like lines per inch. That's how they do it. And then this one is the highest resolution technically the most but this one so this one takes about i think it was like four minutes six minutes, six minutes. the middle one was about 12 or 13 minutes because it doubled the resolution and then this one jumped up to about 20 minutes 26 minutes i think it was yeah, so it takes a while so i prefer this one myself um like this one's okay but this is my favorite but this is also every one of these would take 20 some minutes to do um depending on of course depending on what picture or what file we use um sandra says i love the left one this one the highest resolution one norma likes the middle one norma says they are much easier to see this way my favorite was the middle one, said Marianne as well. Yeah, the middle one's not too bad. The middle one's like 12 minutes. Um, and I think it's it's a good in-between. But then again, every file, every picture is going to be a little different too. I might use the highest one setting on my makeup for my um, my museum pieces. Yeah. Because I'm only making like one of those. But this might be the one that goes into production, this kind of middle setting. And since I like the middle one and even the first one, they look like woodblock prints. I love that look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, it could be also the ink that we use. Because um, with a different ink, it may have a different look, you know? Yeah. It won't be as, as hard. Yeah, I think the middle one is probably what we'll do for production stuff, is my guess. If people like that. If people like it. Do you like that? Is this something you would all like to buy? Would you buy something like this? I guess is the question. Our friends, um, Lily Pilly, they kind of started doing the laser stuff way back in the day but they only do their designs and yeah for years i tried to get them to do my designs but they're like we're too busy with our designs yeah so we're looking to do our own designs so i don't think it's like competing or anything no and anyways i don't even see them anymore hardly or i don't see anybody anymore so right. that could also be it so these well, we were thinking probably around eight dollars, and they are mother of pearl. And my friend Kelly Jean Conroy, she does laser on all kinds of stuff. So, what do you think of those, everybody? Mother have, of pearl. Would you have interest in those? Um, these are cabs right now, um, but they could be drilled if you wanted to drill them. Or a bead embroider. Well, Lacey's stiff stuff is coming. It's almost here, I think. I checked it today. <coughs> they put that business on the rocket <coughs> ship. It, yeah. <coughs> Sorry. <I> just <coughs> swallowed water the wrong way. One of the things <coughs> I just ordered, it's, it's taken a world tour. <laughs> they do that sometimes, too. I don't know how, what, how that happens. I um, think they just put, like, the bulk or whatever. Anne says, yes, they would make great earring charms. Yeah, they'd only be done on one side. We're not going to do both sides, I don't think. Mm, these ones, the, the, it's not. I picked these since they're samples. I didn't pick a pretty backside. And in theory, you never know. This, yeah, this backside isn't so bad. There's okay. ones that have, like, pink on them. Yeah, this, like, this one has some pink on the back. But <coughs> um, it technically, the backside could be done but it would just take twice as much time and probably cost twice as much. Um, Marianne says, I would buy at eight. That's a good price. I would buy them, says Norma. Sandra says, I would buy. Sally says, can they be painted? Mm, maybe. Um, I would say that if you're going to do that, you have to, um, you'd have to, because the, the mother of pearl is a porous material. So in theory, you could stain 
you could stain um, the dyes and stuff like that. Maybe you could do alcohol inks for sure, but alcohol inks aren't light fast. So yeah, like if like if we left them raw, people could use different paint colors, right? What do you mean raw? Not with the black. Um, maybe. I just want to have one thing. Yeah. I don't want to have like a bunch of variations. So they're going to be like this, everybody. Uh, because if we do a lot of different variations, then it's um, then it's just like it just adds so much more work to to keep track of everything. And I can make a batch, and then it's like done, mm -hmm. as opposed to like. Well, I was just saying, if we ship them raw, and then they do that. You know, I don't know how popular that is because we did that with some of our acrylic pendants, and I think like four of them sold. Yeah. And so you're just gonna get the finished product. It's gonna be like this. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna try to say some. I don't know. I just think that it, um, if you give people too many options with stuff like that, then they just don't buy it. Yeah. <clears throat> Suzanne says very pretty. And then also, if we do a bunch of different colors and stuff, then then we have to have individual skews and take more pictures. Well, I'm not saying we do the individual color. No, 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 no. But I was saying we could do the black or leave it raw. No. She says, "Okay, as is." I was thinking I would maybe just paint the flower. That's what I thought you meant. And um, in theory, you can you can just. Um, you would have to use the right, you'd have to experiment because I I have not done a lot of work on Mother of Pearl. But you know that there's people who paint on it and it's, it is a porous material. So you can, it will soak up color. It's just finding the right material to do that. Yeah, if you've ever done it before yourself on Mother of Pearl, then it should work. <laughs> I would say maybe Dr. Martin's inks maybe might work. So just to show you again, these were the three prototypes we went through. I did wax these after, so then that, you'd have to remove the wax. So I don't know if that's like, that would be good. And we'll probably stick with this one. This seems to be the one people like the most. Suzanne says, I painted on bone, but not mother of pearl. Um, I know people paint on shells because they sell those at like tourist places. Mm -hmm. So in theory, it should be possible. Yeah. So that's that, everybody. Nobody's going, you're not going to make anything, Ryan? I don't think so. I think I'm going to do my video. Hmm. We've been doing this an hour and a half. It's nine o'clock. I got to get that video up in case YouTube takes forever again. Because uh. it's all up to their processing. The faster I get that done, the better. And everyone else said they're not doing anything. Mostly Michelle's making some stuff. But I had some stuff here. Like I was looking at these. Don't use my pearls anyway. <laughs> I was looking at these pearls. I was going to maybe do a tutorial I had... on how. I... If we made a special thing with those. Like if I made a special cabochon of this. Would y'all do like you all would want to do. Um like um bead embroidery a special cabochon yeah only for that one project yeah would you do y'all do bead embroidery i know some of y'all i know amy does i had some of this stuff that i was looking at i was gonna use like some bone i was gonna make another bracelet and i yeah, had some, sure, this, Joe does. some this furnace glass look at those things they'd be pretty together right did you stench my Rainbow ones. What rainbow ones? David Christensen. What are you talking about? That means yes. <laughs> there's only one rainbow one in there, I think. Mm -hmm. No, maybe there's two or three rainbow mm -hmm. ones in there. <laughs> but I was just going to use this one. You can have that one. But that's what I was looking at. That's what I had in my brain today. Oh, no. There's only two rainbow ones in here. And then I had some spacers. I was thinking about making something, but I need to do the video. 
I was gonna make myself some fried bread. Yeah, you did. I don't know if I'll ever make that. Maybe. So, maybe I'll work on this some other time. We'll do a make along. But for now, for now, I think we're done. Turn it off. For now, I didn't say that, but. Get that wagon train a loading, says Jen. She wants her tutorial up, right? I know. Gotta get that up before it's a, a, a afternoon tutorial again. Was that, I thought it came out on time. No, the one came out at 2.30 in the afternoon. Did it really? Yes, it did, really. So that's why I don't want to redo that again. Um, that was also an hour and a half long video. Yeah, and it took nine hours, ten hours to process. Oh, so that is that, everybody. Let me flip the camera around real quick. I'll say a quick goodbye. I'm going to go get my other sandwich that I didn't eat yet. Did y'all like that? We haven't done a let's chat. Hey, we do a basically let's chat every we do beginning. It in the beginning of every show. But we haven't done a let's chat in a while. And we thought, let's do that since people seem to like it. Do you like let's chats, everybody? Um, let us know. Marianne says, everyone have a great night. You too, Marianne. Um, hopefully you like Let's Chats. They're just, they're not selling shows. They're just kind of recaps and just to hang out and laugh and talk. And if you have something on your mind to talk about it, that's all. Suzanne says, yes. Good, good, good. So Jen says, bye-bye, everybody. She says, yeah, forever. I know. I know it took forever. Norma says, yes to the chats. Yeah, sometimes it's nice just to hang out with people, right? I know you all hang out with us most of the time anyway, um, even if we're selling stuff. But sometimes it's nice not to feel that, like, I got to look to see if there's anything I want. I got to send an email. It's just nice to chill out. Um, Michelle says, yes to the chats. I'm just busy today. Sandra says, yes. Good. <clears throat> so glad you like these. Um, we keep saying we want to do them more often, but then we don't, but then we might, who knows, maybe next week we will do a make along kind of, uh, not like a zoom, but just a, just a, just a time where we hang out and make something. You can make something. We'll try and prepare it a little bit more in advance. So you know what day it's going to happen and you can get your project ready and we'll just chat and make stuff. How about that? Maybe we'll do that next week. So, Thank you all so much for tuning in. Did you see last night's uh, AG Live Challenge? Did everyone do the AG Live Challenge last night? I saw a couple of things. Yeah, a lot of people. Well, a few people did it. The bomb. Yep, AG Live Challenge. We, If you don't know what that is, during our live broadcast, every once in a while, we'll throw out a challenge to have you post something in the Allegory Gallery Design Challenges group. And yesterday was bone or bone-like colors. You don't use bone beads. Um, so that was the AG Live Challenge yesterday. If you missed that, you still have time. Go ahead and post something that we didn't do a new one today. We're going to let it low key today. But post something made with bone beads or the color of bone beads if you don't make with bone. Some people don't like that. Um, since yesterday was the bone, the bone bead, uh, the bone show. The bone show. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Um, but it was. So if you missed yesterday's and you like bone beads, there are still some things available that you could try and claim. All right. Marion says, I'm not done yet. Need to choose some black beads to go with my bone choice. Good. That'd be cool. Yeah. So thank you all so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with us for an hour and a half and just chit-chatting. We appreciate that. And we will see you all, AG Bead fam, on Monday. All right. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye now. See ya.